tonight is going to be a great interview so make sure you sit back and relax get your drink get your water whatever you need to get make sure you get it because dj grace will be live on on reggae storm radio momentarily i think we have five minutes to go all right so we're just warming up the place make sure you share the light tell a friend to tell a friend two big bad interviews about to drop right here all right so make sure you share share up the live I need This is gonna be the biggest baddest interview right here. Five minutes to go, share the life. 
DJ Grace will be joining me momentarily. Keith, how you doing? Storm Radio, DJ Kambusa. We'll be hearing from DJ Grace in a second. 7 p.m. Eastern time right now. 
6 p.m. in Jamaica. That makes it 12 midnight in the UK. Big up to all of the UK peeps right now. This is where you want to be. Big interview right now. Good evening to everyone who's locked in right now, whether you're listening on Reggae Storm Radio or you're watching on Kambusta Seven Figures fan page. I want to say good evening to you or good morning because it's already morning in the UK. We're standing by right now for the big interview, Kambusta. We'll be interviewing a DJ Grace. Took our boss, of course. So make sure you are ready. I see that everybody is definitely ready. Marcia Campbell, how you doing, Patricia? How are you doing? Everybody was locked into Facebook right now. Everybody locked in on the radio. Kambu says on. DJ Grace will be coming on momentarily. Get locked into Reggae Star Radio. Are you ready? For the took off boss. Social media personality, recording artist, songwriter, jack of all trades. DJ Grace is on for the very first time on Reggae Storm Radio. DJ Grace, how are you doing? Hi, good night, Queen. How are you doing? I am, with me? I am doing well. Thank you so much for staying up for this great interview. Because we know you're in the UK and it is quite late this time of the night. It's way past your bedtime, I'm assuming. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. You are good, you know, that's how I'm not sure. All so right. I to stay up for this one, of course. Absolutely. Thank you for the one the DJ Kambusta. Thank you so much. And I really, really appreciate it. Really appreciate you staying up for this interview. And I'm sure your fans and everybody is definitely appreciative of that also. All right. So, you know, we have to get into it because of, of, of time. And, you know, we interview from all over the world. So different time zones, you know, for different individuals. So that is why, you know, we have to respect respect each other because you, you definitely know sometimes you made up this, the, the sacrifice. And that is definitely what DJ Grace did tonight. Now, DJ Grace, I just want yeah. you to, you know, let your fans, because a lot of people may have known you from Facebook and, you know, they, 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 they've seen you on, you know, and doing your thing, which you will get into a little bit later. What well, just tell us a little bit about who DJ Grace is and where where are you from? Tell us a little bit about the background for those who don't know. All right. I was born and raised in Jamaica, now reside in the UK. Yeah, um, I go by the name DJ Grace Book of Boss. I'm a recording artist, I'm a DJ, I'm a producer. Yes, I'm an air stylist. I'm Jack of all trade, as you said before. Yes. <laughs> Most definitely. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And you can also call me a uh, social media influencer. Yes. Sir. You know, because I have my, um I have a program that I run on Facebook as well. It's called Teach and Learn, you know? Yes. Sir. When we do towards um the knowledge and the awareness to the people. Yes. And all of them too. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes, teach and learn. Very, very good program. I get to, to you know, pop onto that um, sometimes. That's a whole different um, side. That's not just promotion of music and things like that, but teaching things that are very, very vital to us learning and, and you know, growing. So that's very, very good. Um, 
DJ Grace. Now you were born in Jamaica. So did you have your the, the musical idea, the musical gift? How so early did you figure out that you know what? I have such a special talent. But I'm someone that you know always loved music. But um, let me let me see. It started when I was about eighteen years old. I remember you know writing my songs and always DJing all about the place. Like I'll be on a bus, I'll be DJing. Mm -hmm. I used to go by the name of Atta Fire. You know, I used to DJ in church, like when it's um when it's testimony time. Mm -hmm. Yes, I would just DJ my song in um testimony. You know, I didn't really take it serious. I was just having fun. Yes. But um, I think uh, I think when I was about nineteen years old, I entered Rising Star. You get what I'm saying? Oh. Yes, it was all fun. Yeah. You understand me? But that didn't went too well because when I went to the audition and saw Anthony's face and you know why. I forgot my song, I forgot my lyrics totally. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. I understand. Because, you know, it gets nerve wracking. You know, everybody who, you know, so familiar with Rising Star, once you see Anthony Miller, look, trust me, it's okay for you to forget your lyrics. Because, you know, you know how he judges yes. on the program. <laughs> All right. So, um, that started okay. when you were like 18. But during high school, um, did you do anything um, when it comes down to the, the music? No, um, not really. Just um, I used to like in dance. I was um, like more into the dancing. You know what I'm saying? Yes. yes. I used to dance, oh, yes. but not um, not music. Wow. Yeah. So you're a DJ. You're a, you're, you you could dance. You're, you're a hairdresser. Everything. DJ Grace has it all. I must I must commend you on that. Now, DJ Grace, a lot of people, including myself, we 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 met um over Facebook, and that is where I saw you. You know promoting and, and, and doing so much for, you know, especially for upcoming artists. Now, DJ Grace, I, I want you to tell all the listeners who are on right now, listening on Reggae Storm Radio, those who are watching on Facebook, how did that part of your journey come about? Well, it all started in 2019 when I got a, I got a vision, yeah? Yes. I got a vision that I'm promoting. Actually, um, I got three vision. But the first one led me to start. Um, the first vision I got, um, I see myself like promoting this artist in the UK. Mm -hmm. Her name is Tana Kimon. And that's when I know I go on the line and I've been fun and playing her songs. And I realized that, you know, people liking what I was doing. And um, that's when other artists laugh, um, like start, you know, um, like selling their shoes for me, for me to promote and all of that. You get what I'm saying? And then I get another vision again, and I see myself promoting Father Cut Sleep. I got another vision, and I, I saw myself promoting an artist called Never Rama. Yes. Yes. And it did, but it, and I took off from there. Because when you go on the line and play music, you know, artists is going to come to you and ask them to promote their music. Yes. You know, and it didn't take me time to talk out, so that's why I call it the took out show. And of course, I'm the boss for the took out show, so I call myself took out boss, Absolutely. you know. So that's how it all started. Okay, so it started yes. off with just one artist, then it became three artists, and now the world wants DJ Grace to play and promote okay. their song. Definitely. That is definitely wonderful. If you're just joining us, I want to say welcome, welcome. I am Kambusta, and I have DJ Grace to took out boss on the other end you know she's in the uk right now and we're live also on reggae storm radio so and this is a wonderful reasoning we don't like to call it an interview we're just reasoning and learning some more mm -hmm. about who the beautiful dj grace is so just welcome everybody and just go ahead and definitely share the live now dj grace you started off doing that but now we know that you are also a recording artist that did that influence you also to you know start professionally to record your own songs. Yes. Right, right. You know, I go on because I'm always a lover of music. Mm -hmm. You know, and music is a part of me, you know. So by me, like, promoting these artists, yes. you know, um, I, I don't even know what happened. I just remember me going to the studio and mm -hmm. I sing my first, um, my first single in 2020. Um, that one that's called um, No Liki Liki Man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I was just still having fun. Mm -hmm. um, didn't um, did um, did decide that's something I want to choose as a career. Yes. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Just having fun, having fun and just doing music. And then now, the seriousness really began mm -hmm. when uh, my awakening happened in 2020. Mm -hmm. Late 2020 when my awakening happened and the transformation started taking place. That is when I really take the music serious yes. because I realized that now I'm on an, I'm, I'm going on another level and the divine starts using me in some different type of way. And I'm like, whoa, mm -hmm. something is going on here because, you know, I didn't choose this thing. This thing really chose me. Yes. And I find myself start doing some kind of conscious song and all of that. And I, I realized like, whoa, this is something that I have to do. And I want to do, and I would love to do, and I'm going to do, and I'm good. <laughs> wow. Most you're definitely. Doing, you're doing a great yes. job. The awakening happened. That's where the transformation came in. And that is definitely yeah. the name of DJ Grace's album, which I cannot wait to get into. Because that is, a, you know, that is an album that's doing well right now. And that's an album that DJ Grace is promoting right now. Transformation, yeah, definitely. And, you know, I had to get my copy because when I see the good work you're putting in DJ Grace, I must say I have to give my contribution to your music. Thank you, thank you. You're most welcome. Now, I just want to play a little a, a song right now, DJ Grace. It is, it is one of my favorite songs um, that you have done. You know, it, it 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 makes you, it encourages, it imp inspires, you know, and it makes you feel good about yourself. So, for the listeners, if you're on Reggae Storm Radio right now, if you're locked into Facebook, DJ Grace is on the line, and this is how it goes. <laughs> the name of this one and it is straight yes. off of the transformation album tell us about this song dj grace how did you get you know the inspiration to write something like this well the song um the song basically speaks for itself because really and truly i was someone that you know used to tone the skin you know we call it bleaching mm -hmm. and um you know i don't do that no more Yes. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, where I'm coming from and where I'm today and where I see myself going and what I have over what I have achieved mm -hmm. over the year and also, you know, just a short time I'm doing music, the growth, I'm telling you, I have to be proud of myself. You get what I'm saying? So I just put all of that in a song. Absolutely. Proud of myself. Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? You have to. And also... Yes, definitely. And also in the next verse, I go on tell people why they should put it themselves. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is oh, everything is in our DNA. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We are lack of nothing. We should be proud of who we are. All you got to do is accept yourself. Yes. Who you are, who you were created to be. So true. You understand? And, and do you definitely. Agree? In, in a society like that, it, like this. Um, where it's so hard for, for people to, to, to accept people. So because of that, you know, especially the women, they go and they change so much things about themselves um, physically because they just sometimes want to feel accepted. So, you know, you doing a song like this, you know, encouraging and promoting, um, being proud of yourself, this is a definitely good look. Yes, most definitely, most definitely. Yes. I, um, when I play that song, you know, all I can see people singing this song with passion. Yes. And I just imagine the whole world is singing this song, proud of myself. Yes. You know, proud of who you are. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That would be such a beautiful thing. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so how long did it take you to, you know, finish writing this album? Well, it didn't take me any time. Okay, um, few songs on the album, I have released them before, so I think about five of them 
is not the album that I did just for the album. It didn't take any time because I'm a first that this. Yeah. I would just hear a rhythm mm -hmm. and I could write a song in, a, in half an hour. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Especially if, um, like, who come to me mm -hmm. and I would just hear vibing, vibing. I could just do that song within half an hour. So it didn't take any time really. You know what I'm saying? Remarkable. Yeah. That yeah. that was actually my, my other question. How you know what what type of inspiration you have to have? What kind of meds you have to have before you know you write a song? I've spoken to artists who some say they don't physically write songs. Some say they they have to hear the rhythm first. Some will just be walking and see something and just write a song like just like that. So uh, that was my other question to you, DJ Grace. How do you get you know the inspiration or from what do you get it? to write a song because each um song on this album it's like a different topic that is why your album mm. is so unique you understand you're not singing about the same thing every song is different it has a different message you understand a different meds so we just want to learn a little bit about your writing skills how you come up with something like that so unique everything around me can book book star yes is an inspiration. As you say, um, when I listen to my song, yes. um, you could hear me um, doing a little culture, a little dance. I'm talking about everything. Everything around me is um, is my inspiration. Yes. You know, I'll be just walking and I see something in nature. Like my recent song I did, I say, um, early when I rise in the morning, you get what I'm saying, you gotta praise her, praise nature because in all seasons um, she's a provider. Mm -hmm. I was just out in nature, I was just looking at the beauty mm -hmm. and how Mother Nature like provide for us and you know what song just came there. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll be in my shower and something just come to me, I'll, I'll be reminiscing and something I'll say, whoa, just drop that in our song. You get what I'm saying? Yes. It's like everything around me is my inspiration. Wow, wonderful. Wonderful. If you're just joining us, we are online right now on Reggae Storm Radio with DJ Grace, the took off boss, of course, and we're having a wonderful reasoning, learning about where it all started, where it is now, and where everything is heading. And also, we are talking about the Transformation album, because that's her new album that she is definitely promoting right now. Now, DJ Grace, I've gone through your album, you know, and you have um, collab also on the and the album. This one is with you, Tanji. I'm gonna play just a little part of it and then you tell us how did this one come along because you're very versatile. I started out the show, you know, playing some more dance type of songs and then a whole yeah. different conscious state we can get from DJ Grace. So you're not just one type of artist, you understand? We can get all different sides and that is what makes you unique. So let's just go ahead and listen to this song. On the album, one of my favorites, Rebel Love. I need you to miss the car bus. This one is called Rebel Love. And I'm searching for a perfect form of Rebel Love. I'm searching, search, and I shall find her. Looking for the perfect thing to be mine. I'm searching for my Rebel Love. I'm searching, search, and I shall find her. Looking for the perfect thing to be mine. I'm searching. Queen, in a police, me need a real king. Me can't bother with the one night thing. Then the limit in my mind, something. I'm a fear to put on a ring. Preferably, last but I swing. Straight like a arrow, no freaking thing. We rebel up, but I'm a body in a king. So I'm a rebel up, I'm searching. Search, and I shall find her. Looking for the perfect king to be mine, I'm searching. If I'm a rebel up, I'm searching. Search, and I shall find a rebel up. Rebel up, rebel up, rebel up, rebel up. DJ Grace and you turn G. He's gonna set up, pull it up. Search, and I shall find a looking for the perfect king to be mine. I'm searching. If I'm a rebel up, I'm searching. Search. I shall find her looking for the perfect king to be mine. I'm searching. Ooh. I'm a Nubian queen. In my palace, me need a real king. Me can't bother with the one night fling. Then the limit in my mind, something. I'm a fear to put on a ring. Preferably, locks me a swing. Straight like a arrow, no freaking thing. Me rebel up, but I'm a body locking. But I'm a rebel up, I'm searching. Search. And I shall find her looking for the perfect king to be mine. I'm searching. 
Transformation album. I'm a rebel lover. I'm searching. Search. And I shall find. I'm looking for a perfect king to be mine. I'm searching. Who knows what you have done? Beside my life, I just begun. You want to dart a but I need to hear for songs. I am a rebel. There is no fear. There's no fear. Just be by the flow. I guarantee you will keep coming back for more. I'm a rebel love. I'm searching. Search. And I shall find her. Looking for the perfect hand to be mine. I'm searching. Rebel love. That's the name of this one. And you can get it definitely on the Transformation album by DJ Grace. DJ Grace, I told you, this is one of my favorites. I know every song of Melissa is. You yes, need to get so hard for me to choose which song is my favorite. But definitely, Yotan G and DJ Grace, you guys did a good job on this song. Tell us, how did this club come about? I, um, I got, um, when I got that reading, yeah? Yes. And I heard it and I was missing it and thing and I was like, um, it was giving me a vibe. But then the person who said me the rhythm, um, like, is our star. Yes. So me and said one, like one, put a little, you know, like a vibe to it. And through me, I rebel already. So me and say, what we can come up with? I'm just there, so I made the rhythm. Yes. I was there and I, within half an hour, as I said before, I just come up with that song. Wow. So, um, that's what we play right now is actually the remix, okay? The remix. So um, when Newton G heard the, orig um, the original, it was like, wow, I could jump on this because you know that Newton G is a culture artist, so that a song he will, you know, yes, yes. Will be a, um, he will take part into. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'll be a part of. Right. Because right. he's a culture artist. So I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to say, of course. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, we just did the remix and that's it. When it took off. Fully took off. You said DJ Grace mm -hmm. versatile. 30 minutes. You understand? It takes a real queen to do that, to come up with something like that, you know, in such a short time. I must say, DJ Grace, a great, great job. Tell us about some of the producers that you've been working with. Do you do um, just work with producers like in, in the UK or is it all over the world or do you produce some of your well, songs? I work, with, I work with producer all over. Producer in the US, producer in Africa, producer in Jamaica, producer in the UK. Wow. You know, I work with quite a few producers. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. All over. Wonderful. DJ mm -hmm. Grace. Um, what, as I mentioned before, and, and the world knows, you are jack of all trade. You do, you do so much. But where would you say you find yourself more comfortable? Is it in the studio? Is it on stage? Is it, you know, while, when you're doing your DJ work? What, what would you say is your, you are more comfortable in doing? So then it should be a kombucha. Yes. I am com I'm comfortable wherever because I have that confidence. Yes. You know, but I love to I definitely love to interact with my fans. Yes. You know? Mm. Yes, most definitely. So that will put you like on on the stage and seeing seeing your fans. Definitely, definitely. Alright. So are you doing like shows right now or um like upcoming shows that we can look out for, DJ Grace? Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, most definitely. Um, the Tukar show, um, putting on a show mm -hmm. here in the UK on the 20, 28th of October. Mm -hmm. That should be in Leicester. Yes, most definitely. So yes, I want people to come out and, you know, come out and support, come out and meet and greet, come out and get to know DJ Grace, job list, and many more artists that will be there. Absolutely. In the sky. That sounds like yeah. fun. That sounds like I need to book my ticket. Can you imagine? Meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. If you can, why not? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So if you're just joining us, Jafaith over there in Scotland. Welcome. Welcome. We're talking to DJ Grace right now, learning about the entire story and learning about this wonderful album that she ha has out right now, Transformation. This album is available everywhere, but we'll be getting that information soon. Now, DJ Grace, I've interviewed so many women, so many females in the industry, and I've heard stories about, you know, how hard it is in terms of, you know, doing a thing, because, as you know, they say it's a male-dominated industry. Tell us about your side of the story. Tell us how hard is it for you, or what has been your experience being a female in this industry? 
Oh my gosh. Um, let me start off by saying um, it's a good thing. I'm a lioness with a lion energy. If it wasn't so, <laughs> they would have eaten me up already. <laughs> It's not easy, Kambusa. Trust me, it's not easy. I'm not going to say it's easy, but because I'm a strong woman, you get upset. As, as I said before, I believe in myself, yes. and, and um, you know, I just do my thing. Yes. You understand? I really get a lot of fights, especially from you know other DJs and so forth. But I don't give them not. I don't give them no attention. You get upset. Yes. I just keep doing me. You yes. understand? Know because I love what I do, and I'm focused, and I know what I want. You get know upset. Yes. Yes, I just do me. So how? Because it's not easy. How do you overcome it? Is it uh, some people say they just ignore it? What do you do, DJ Grace, to overcome you know things like this? That's exactly what I do as well. Just ignore them and just do me. Just press gas. Press gas. Just to pass with them like fire rocket stars. Don't give them no energy, no attention. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. All right. Now the, the album, you know, it has been released recently. What has the reception been like? It's good. good. It's good. Yes. It's getting a lot of um it's getting a lot of streaming. Yes. I'm getting a lot of support from DJs, a lot of your people reaching out to me. Yes. The fans are sharing my music. I'm telling you, yes. I can't complain. Yes. It's getting a great feedback. Well, that is something you you're putting the work. So definitely, that is what you want to hear. The, the, it yeah. is getting, you know, recognized, getting, getting played. Because it doesn't matter how good you have a project. It doesn't matter how good the project is. If it's not going out there, not being promoted, not being played, then people will not know. So, you know, I kind of love how you do it. You make sure that you, you're promoting other artists' music um, during your segment. But you have to make sure that you are also promoting your own because that is just life and that is what you you have to do if you want it to reach out there and Jafet is saying she's a positive a positive woman of course she is now DJ is yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you know you have we have another song on this album that I just want to to touch it on another remix with with Yotan G and um not a remix a collaboration and I just want to play a little part of part of it for our listeners on Reggae Strong. Straight to the motherland. That's where it's all started from. That's where the truth lies. The sound? Sure. Where's DJ Grace? <laughs> it's all. The time get first, but why should I comply? Movements of job people, each more surprise. People living in fear, slowly killing us. This time can I raise the tears of my eyes. I used to be blind and could not see. It's a just this cycle. Now it's time for me to get up and fight. Trouble this guy today. Let's move from this place back to reality. I wanna go back to who I am, who to be, and where I'm from. I wanna go back to the motherland. Welcome me. And the native people stop fooling around. Uh -huh. There are kings and queens, those are crowned. Uh -huh. You should be sitting on the highest thrones, ruling over all them clowns. Uh -huh. yeah. My centuries, they have us down. I was thinking we're inferior, but in fact, we're superior. We are earth. Rightful ruler. Mm -hmm. When your eyes empty, you can't just go to us. Your reasons are false, many kicks and spies. I've been living your life, been a fantasy. You work as an art, you go to politics. The summer of the history. Motherland, transformation album. It's a DJ Grace. Don't tell me about you, me. No time, G. To be rich in your world, it's a lot of I want to go back. I want to go back. They want to see us all dead. They call a pandemic to get us vaccinated. They own all the farmers. Jim and Fools, they feed the nation. They take us all for fools. They tamper with our water. Tell me what to do. We should survive by nature. 
Tell me what to do. is the name of this one. No, DJ Grace, beautiful, beautiful son. Africa, is that is that in your future, in the near future for you to, to perform? Is that one of the places that you would love to perform? Absolutely, absolutely, most definitely. It's in my near future, yeah. most definitely. And when I say back to the motherland, you know, not only physical, but also spiritual. Spiritual, yes. Because remember that we've been taken out of our place. Absolutely. And as you can say, mm -hmm. we're back to be who you supposed to be, where you're from. Yes, yes. You understand? Yes. Back to your roots and back to your culture. Right. Back to your spirituality. Yes. So when you say back to Africa, yes. um, the motherland, you understand we're talking about mainly our spirituality because really and truly, <laughs> the motherland is the whole earth. The whole earth. You understand? Know so basically, root referring to the the spiritual, um, the spiritual aspect of it, you know what I'm saying? Yes. That's a very powerful song, come this song. Very powerful song. Jaffe, so to pull it up. And Keith Cole yes. says, very talented woman. You know, we have to go by what the fans say, DJ Grace, as much as it's in the okay. UK right now. We have Most to go. Definitely. So we have to pull up this one, all right? Motherland. Yes. Straight to the motherland. That's where it's all started from. That's where the truth lies. Sure. Where's DJ Grace? Motherland. It's on. The time get first, but why should I comply? Movements of job people, each more supply. People living in fear, slowly killing us. This time can I raise the tears from my eyes. I used to be blind and could not see. Every single We should be sitting on highest thrones, ruling over all in clouds uh, uh, for centuries. Straight to the motherland. They're loving this one. Rise and blessings every time. All the way from New Zealand. She said to pull it up. Big song, yeah. Transformation album. It's out. The time get worse, but why should I comply? Movements of job people, each more supply. People living in fear, slowly killing us. This time can I raise the tears from my eyes. I used to be blind and could not see. And see girls this cycle. Now it's time for me to get up and fight. Trouble this tragedy. Let's keep from this place back to reality. I wanna go back to who I am. Who to be and where I'm from. I wanna go back. When the native people stop fooling around, uh, 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 where kings and queens raise their crown, uh, 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 we should be sitting on highest thrones, ruling over all them clowns. Uh, 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 For centuries, they have us down. I was thinking we're inferior, but in fact, we're superior. We are earth, rightful ruler. Where I am you can't just look to us. You reasons are false, many things and stuff. Have you lived in your life in the fantasy? The Lord guys so hard. Lyrics up, right, right, man? The sun work is in its place to give Glad you guys are loving it. Earth's place is created, it's a mystery. Don't tell me about your milk and candy. To be rich in your world, it's a mockery. I want to go back. I want to go back. Loving it, loving it. Motherland, Utah G and 
DJ Grace on this one. King Tom, blessings every time. I'm so happy that you guys love it. It's from the Transformation album, and definitely, DJ Grace, you put in so much work into this album. And it's a lot of the songs, on, as, as a matter of fact, I would say all the songs on the album, you have to kind of have a meds. It's not just physical. You can't just listen to the songs and say, okay, yes, I get it. Some of the songs, tell us about the spirituality that is behind these songs. Yes, as I was saying um, before, you know, my my awakening, yes. you know, took place in 2020, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And um, it's a process really, because, um, you know, my awareness yeah. and the knowledge I've gained, you know, and my experiences. Yes. I put all of that in a song. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Most definitely. Absolutely. All right, so DJ Grace, what is it that you want the world? We have so many different countries listening right now on Reggae Storm Radio. We have our Facebook fans. What is it that you would like the world to know about this album, about the Transformation album? What would you like to tell us about it? Go and get the album. And take your time to listen to some them one by one. Go in silence. Yes. And listen to them. Yes. And trust me, what you're looking for, you will definitely find. Yes. Because I have one on the album called I360. Yes. Where I'm playing, you know, I know you need me. Of course, I need you. You want my body so you can work too. Yes. So I clean up my vessel. And I'm talking about the divine. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And work through me so the world can see. And the world is definitely seen and they don't see me yet. Yes. Because, you know, I'm like a snail in a shell. Because they are seeing the outer appearance and maybe judging, who knows? Yes. But the world will see because great things are about to happen. Because it's all about within and the renewing renewing of your mind. Yes. You understand? It's never outer thing, it's an inner thing. You know what I'm saying? That's deep. So when you listen to the song, you will get it. Yes. I have another song on the album called Event State. Event State. If you want to come in that event, you got to change your state of mind. Get yes. out all the folly that lets you move in funny. True. Yes. They never tell me that God is one. They mug me and look in the sky who I'm on. Mm-hmm. And some deep tune, really, you know. Very. And some deep tune, because most of them songs, you know, most of them songs, you know, they come to me when I'm all in a meds, you know. Yes. You see that I'm in nature or I'm mingling with the water because I carry the water energy. Yes. So those songs come to me. So those are not some simple songs right. if you listen to them. I have one called Be Free on the album as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When I take, take out the shackles and the chain, you now it's time to get your, you now it's time to get them out your brain yes. before they drive you insane. Yes. Wake up. Yes. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yes. Very deep tune as well. So I have some good tune on the album, some deep tune, you know? Absolutely. For real. Yes. Yes, I've definitely listened to this album and, and so so I can attest to what you are saying. Deep meds you have to it's like you're in a whole different world, a whole meditation when you're you're you're, you're listening to DJ Grace's album. So definitely transformation is a good look, um a great album and I I would advise everyone to, you know, go out, get a copy of it, you know, stream it and and and, and share, share, let let people know about it because DJ Grace definitely put in the work. And you, you spoke about the awakening, DJ Grace. There's so many people that we would say are, are lost right now, lost in the system, and so many people need to, you know, be shaken up and understand reality, understand the the type of meds that you're putting into into your songs. Did you get that from like reading, I know that you have the the show that you do apart from the took off show. Um, that you know you teach us, teach and learn. You you, you teach us. You, you take us to a different whole level, a whole meds. But did it start it out by you just like reading different books? What gave you that that awakening? You would say first. Well, no reading at all. Mm-hmm. No reading at all from the books. <laughs> Let me tell you, we learn from each other, you know, because mm-hmm. what you're really looking for 
is within um is within all we're looking for is within us. Yes. So I get my knowledge from people like you and G mm -hmm. Jobless. Yes. You know, um, you should check out Youth and G as well. I uh, even a deep um artist also Jobless. Yes. You know, yes. we learn from each other. You get what I say? Yes. So let me um because remember, you know, your body is the house for the divine. Mm -hmm. And that is the divine it is within the body. Your body is the host for the divine. So anything you want is within. Is if I don't know something and I want to know something, I just go within. I have or I could have a reason with you and you are two to we get the answer. Yes, you don't think yes. It, that is it. So all the knowledge again, mm -hmm. you know, what some clips sometimes, you know. Yes, absolutely. Or maybe of course, but most of it is basically from each other because the answer there among us. It's among us. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yes. Absolutely. Patricia says, true talk. Of course, true words. She's talking. Noreen Henry Forbes says, blessed love DJ Grace. And Jafet say, I told you she is positive. Kambusta. Yes, of course, DJ Grace always positive, always re keep it real. And that is what, you know, that, that is what I love about her. You can always go to her for advice and, you know, she will uplift your spirit. I can remember before I started doing all of this, I reached out to DJ Grace because I didn't know anything really about, you know, in doing all this. And she was the one who gave me some great advice, which I took up until this day. So you understand, a very great job, DJ Grace. And thank you so much for the inspiration, I must say. And I must say I'm proud of you too. I must say I'm proud of you. You get what I'm saying? You. You're doing great. Thank you. You're doing great from both stuff. Thank you, you so much. Definitely. Thank you so much. All right, so you know we have to wrap up the interview at the moment. Um, it's a great interview, great um, album, transformation album. I want you to go ahead and, you know, tell us where we can get the, the album for those who are listening over there in, in Reggae Storm Radio all over the world right now. Those on Facebook who probably haven't gotten their copy of the album yet. Let us know where we can get it. Tell us about your social media handles and also where people can watch the Took Off show, everything about things like that for our listeners. Yes, Kambusta. All right, the album is out on our digital platform, so you can get it on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, etc. It's um it is on Bandcamp, that is DJ Grace Cook Off Boss, that's Bandcamp.com. You understand? Um you can um on all social media platform you can find me on TikTok, YouTube, yes. Facebook. DJ Grace took off boss. Yes. And um the took off show is on a Monday, I would say on a Friday, you know, between twelve and one UK time midday. Yeah? Yes. Right. And also you can Google me because I'm basically everywhere just going on Google and Google DJ Grace <laughs> boss. As I will just pop up. She will just pop up. Wonderful. I will just pop right up. Yes. So for those of you who don't have a TikTok page, you need to create a TikTok because DJ Grace is on TikTok also. You understand? So definitely yeah. want to go over by TikTok. I've, I've been on TikTok. I've been following her on TikTok. So you need to also do that. And all the other social media handles that DJ Grace is on. It's definitely a good look. Give your big ups and your shout out DJ Grace as we, we wrap up this remarkable interview. Oh yes, oh yes. First and foremost, I want to pick up the divine, feminine and masculine energy. I want to pick up my great honorable ancestors. I want to pick up all the kings and queens that is on the line right now. I want to pick up my mom. I want to pick up Father Custody. I want to pick up the Tukak Empire team. I want to pick up the Teach and Learn team. You know what I'm saying? I want to pick up all the DJ them. We support DJ Grace Tukak Boss. Is what I say. Um, pick up yourself, Kambusa. Thank you for having me. Enough respect. Is what I say. Thank you. Thanks for the time out and reach out. I really appreciate you. I just want to say you're doing great and just keep up the great work. Is what I say? Thank because you. in your space, is what I say, come do stuff. Thank you. This is your life, girl. Absolutely. You take it, you own it. I love what you're doing. Is what I say? Most definitely. Because all the artists, them, so many the collaboration. I love the like food. 
Big up everybody locked into the live right now. Anywhere in the world you're there, big up for myself. You get what I say? Took off settings. Took off. Like fire rocket style. You heard that? You're most welcome, DJ Grace. Anytime, anytime you have your new songs and anything, music videos, anything you have in your shows. Remember the Meet the Artist show, the 28th of October. You can get to October, meet. Yes. Definitely meet and DJ that's Grace. Yes, sir. That's another, the, the, the other hot thing right now that, that meet, meet and meet the artist. Wow. That's on October 20th. It was definitely my pleasure, DJ Grace. I couldn't have had it any other way. But, you know, welcome you to the platform and, you know, share, share your story, share your music with the world, share your positivity with the world. And I'm, I'm seeing everybody is, you know, the fire emojis are going up. Everybody's saying they love the DJ Grace. They, 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 this is a good look and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Thank you. I'm feeling Thank good. Thank you I know so you much. Are. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. You're most welcome. You have a wonderful morning because it's already morning in the UK and I know you will be on your show tomorrow morning on Facebook. So thanks so much for passing through the students of Reggae Storm Radio. You have a wonderful night. Great interview. Great vibe. Keep up the positivity and continue yeah. with the great job. Big up Reggae Storm Radio. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm DJ Grace the God Boss. I am that I am. I am who I am. I am the I. I'm glad you guys love it. I am the original DJ Grace. It was. I am one with the maker. That's energy that make me to make up. I don't play that I breathe. That key from protect your money. When I speak, I speak with authority. What an amazing queen DJ Grace is. Support the artism. Support the album. Transformation to the world. You Respect, Patricia. Yes, Amelia, how are you doing? I am one with the maker. That's energy connected to nature. I don't play. Jeff said he'll be there. Meet the artist. Please, I speak with authority. interview coming up Shari out of Jamaica you don't want to miss this one
wanna come in on me again. You gotta change your state of mind. Get out of the valley. That lets you move it for me. If you wanna be in on me again, you gotta change your state of mind. Get virtually ready. Then baby, we can ride it. Patricia says, great interview. Thank you, Patricia. That's one of two interviews. We're moving right down to Jamaica. In a second for Shari. Sound. Beautiful album, the Transformation album. I want to thank everyone who's locked in right now to Reggae Stone Radio, or if you're watching on Facebook, come boost the several figures fan page. I just want to say thank you so much for your support. We just did one interview, and we're gonna move right along to the next artist from Jamaica. Her name is Shari. You'll be learning about her momentary we also work together on silk radio so you definitely don't want to miss this interview all right stay tuned <laughs>
Sing the Life is the name of this one by Shari. Shari will be joining us momentarily right here on Reggae Star on Radio. Mercy blessings. Call it for my mom. How you doing? This one is for the single ladies. Shari says, single life for the best. It's a pleasure to be here. I am doing great. Giving thanks for life as always. Absolutely. And I'm How are you? I am well. And I'm very glad that you're doing great. Because you know there was a storm on its way to Jamaica. But I know prayers. Oh, are yes. <laughs> prayers definitely <laughs> work, Shari, because you just and turn another course. Yep. We were spared. We were spared. You know, I want to send out prayers as well for... Um, Florida, yes. you know, since it's on its way there, yes. you know, praying as well for a diversion. Yes, absolutely. No way at all can't take any storm in this in this time, not at all. Yes, right after the pandemic, I tell you. Right after. Blessings to everyone who is locked into Reggae Storm Radio. If you're watching on Facebook, John, look, blessings every time. Everybody who is locked in on Facebook. We are we have Shari on the other line, straight out of Jamaica. And we are about to have a nice reasoning with Shari. We want to hear her, her story, because that's what we do right here. We have a reasoning with the recording artist, and they will tell us about where it started and everything. So let's get the ball kicking Shari and tell everyone who's <laughs> listening right now, who is Shari? Where is Shari from? Where, did, where were you born, Shari? Let our listeners know the 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 person behind the beautiful voice. Well, I was born in the beautiful parish of um, St. Thomas, um, the Princess Margaret Hospital. Born and raised um, there, I went to White Horses Primary, then Seaford High School, and um, I left and um, did tertiary education in Kingston. So yes, that's my past, um, St. Thomas. St. Thomas, and we have a lot of artists mm -hmm. from from St. Thomas. So definitely want to big up everyone um, from St. Thomas. That is where Shire was born. So St. Thomas definitely brings forth great, great talent. Now, Shire, at what age or when did you know that you had that this musical gift of singing? Well, um, a 
at celebrating the age. I got baptized when I was seven years old in the Warrant Day Seventh Day Adventist Church. And while going to church, you know, I always wanted to sing. Then I started doing little gigs, you know, at school. So it started around about shortly after after I got baptized. You know, as a little girl, you sing in the mirror and you hold the pen for the mic and you know you practice. But then you know in the church it was solidified because um, they gave me a platform to sing. And then it was a blessing singing just before the pastor preached. Like um, we had um, divine hour. Saturday, so I look forward to that for Sabbath. For Sabbath, definitely. And was there <laughs> any other um, person in your family that you know that does music? Yes, my my mommy. <laughs> You know, um, before she passed away, God bless her soul. Um, she sang in church, and I know uh, people always like you know, we have a gift. And I was like, then when I started singing, you know, everybody said, Oh, you sing like your mom. I'm afraid to say gospel. Mm -hmm. Um, she was a very spiritual woman, so yes, um, funerals, you know, concerts and stuff. So then when I started it, I said, Yes, that was my mom's turn. So the passion for music, um, yes, is deeply rooted from there. Came from your mom. And as um <laughs> deepest condolences um, to your mom. I'm sure I also found out I'm um, reading your bio that you also um lost lost your dad. So definitely your condolences goes out to you. Oh yes, um my dad passed um shortly after I got baptized at um seven. Mm -hmm. Um and then you know uh, my mom died a couple of years after when I was fifteen so um yes <laughs> it was a difficult time mm -hmm. and I think you know singing and blessing souls and um uh, the relationship with the Lord would have prepared me for what to come and uh, to this day I am still grateful for that foundation mm -hmm. and um you know all the opportunities um, that presented. So how, yes. did, how did the passing um, impact your career? Did it push you to, to want to go into music more? Or were you like, you know, grieving and just think that probably you should not um, continue? How did that impact your life and your career, um, Shari? Well, I, I had a lot of goals. I know I wanted to go to university. I wanted to make um, my mommy proud. Mm -hmm. You know, my mommy believed in education. And um, she was steadfast. And I was doing really well, mm -hmm. you know, from a very tender age. So I had a lot of goals. Mm -hmm. But in the midst of all of that, I knew that I wanted to sing. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a passion for music. And I searched for opportunities, you know. Mm -hmm. All over Kingston, I would go to the different studios. But um, being in music, it is a male-dominated industry. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very hard. Art, especially if as a female you don't have a platform because while you're trying to get that big break mm -hmm. your bills still need um to be paid yes. so i was doing it and then i realized that it's going to take a lot more or um compromise mm -hmm. and um it was a decision making process for me a very big one so when i decided to stop um doing music mm -hmm. take a little hiatus and they didn't go back to school and then i you know, sort of job um, in the government department. Mm -hmm. You know, it was a lot. But I returned um, in my later years. I also have a son. So um, I miss the music. My son knows how much I love it. And he was like, oh, me, 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 to do the music. Yeah. I can't understand why. Why you give up? And I said, I didn't really give up. It's just the challenges. Right. And that really motivated me to go back into the studio. Yeah. And then... <laughs> I want you was really, really the song that we launched everything um, where my music is concerned. Yes, absolutely. Because um, I noticed, because you, you did not sit and, and wait, Shana. In the meantime, you know, you're trying to get your musical career going and everything. Because, you know, <laughs> as you said, it's kind of challenging, you know, being a woman in this industry. And uh, almost every female that I've interviewed, you know, they, 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 they will definitely expound on that. You moved to Montego Bay, um, Shari, and <laughs> you did. What, what caused that move? I know a lot of us moved to different places. Some of us because of love. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of that. But what moved you to Montego Bay? Well, it, it was just circumstances. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it was a, a rough. Just imagine being there, um, not getting the support, you know, no parents. And it, I was going through a 
like that. So when after I got my subjects, I went to Monte the Bay for a job opportunity. Mm -hmm. And even there, I still, you know, tried to do the music as a young girl. And everybody was like, you definitely have to go back into Kingston. You know, Kingston is the Mecca. Right. You know, where the music is concerned. So in Monte the Bay, it was a joy for me to sing at uh, for a tiff. You know, they had all my bands there, and um, so, you know, I passed through, and the guys, they always, you know, encouraged me um, to pursue my music, and that kept me going, I, I kept me going, I really looked forward to just going on the stage there to sing, so I didn't do any recording while in particular Bay, it was just um, to do cover songs, you know, whenever I go to karaoke. The, 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 the live band there, yeah. I heard they're still going, some of the members have changed, but um, it was indeed a joy mm -hmm. that really kept me going. Absolutely. And you said Coral Cliff, right? Yes. Coral Cliff, yes. I'm familiar with Coral Cliff because I am definitely from Montego Bay. So, yes, I'm definitely. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See, it was a nice experience. I remember having my son, yes. and I would like to leave it to all your age with just to pass through at uh, of course, we could keep for an opportunity to the scene. So, I, once the guys there, you know, saw me, you know, I'd be there waiting, waiting, anxiously just, just to get a chance to touch the mic. You know, and those are little things that tells you, yes. you know, that keeps you going, it gives joy. Yes. You know, there's a tremendous amount of joy that is received. From doing the things that we love. Absolutely, absolutely. To satisfy, yes. Also, I noticed you you touched a little into modeling. Now, how did that part of your career come in? Come <laughs> <very far>? Yes. <laughs> So, so while in Magic UK, um, I know I wanted to speak and all of that, but then they used to have like the calls and then everybody said, oh, you look like a model, oh, you should do modeling and yes. stuff, so I decided I would try it out. Yes. So while in Magic UK, I actually took the bus out and came into Kingston and went to Halls, you know, to Kingston Cooper to stay, you know, I really like this thing and stuff. And I tried also to other modeling agencies I used to do, I have a book. I got a number feature um, in the star as well, so it was it was good. That was just me testing the water. Let me really think I could do this. I'm going to try it. So, yes, I, I try things, um, you know, like that. that. That's what I love about you, Shari. If you see one thing, you know, not going as fast as probably you would like it to go or it should be going because you're very talented. But you don't, you don't just sit down and wait. You try other things. So, you know, you, you went, you did a nine to five, you, you, you touched the modeling scene, which, you know, is successful <laughs> and all of that. So, definitely, that is a good look, um, Shari. Also, before we even touch the recording artist part, you also do TV presenter. Um, tell us how did that part of your career come about? Oh, I'm like, I, I did I want to, and I want to. I basically produced that song at the executive producer for that song. I did everything. Um, but I want you. It's a song that I wrote a long time ago and only got the opportunity to record it um, in recent times. After I did that song, um, that, that was like the catalyst for me for television because I actually went for an interview mm -hmm. and then they liked the way I presented um, the show and then um, they asked me to do it and I was like, okay. At that time, I didn't have any television right. experience first. Mm -hmm. But they were like, yes, yes, you did really well and stuff. And now uh, since then I've been doing it on flow right across the Caribbean. Yeah. Um, the show is Black It Up 20 Countdown and um, it's it's on flow cable mm -hmm. and um, airing over 15 countries, yes, in the region. And you still do it up until today, right? Yes, I still do it. Absolutely. That is wonderful. And you said, I want you. Was that the first song that you actually um, did original song, Shari? No, I have recorded on songs before. But you know, while well, testing the market, you know, um, at that time you probably not listening to song. I was a singer. I am a church girl. I sing in church. And then here I am with the dance and learning and people saying, well, if you want to go on this reading, you know, you're going to have a cupboard and you have to sing G and DJ. So that's when I started discovering myself. And I said, okay, so I can really DJ. I love writing from a tender age as well. Yeah. So the writing part of it is very easy for me. Mm -hmm. um, my, my job that I do also entails writing, even right. though it's business, but I love writing. Mm -hmm. um, so when I started doing it, I said, okay then, 
the music, and to the music going into the dance hall or the dance hall really presented itself, so you have to do it. So I want you was I was different because yeah. I was actually singing, even though I put a little sing J at the bridge. But um, for me, it, it is like my baby, and I hold it there because I use that song to, to, to do a lot of things. Yeah. It says a lot of things about me. I am willing to invest in myself. I did a music video, everything for that song. I spent every dollar. Wow. I'm getting the rhythm made. You know, so it was really like, yeah, my baby coming back. Oh, wow. So, you know, all dance artists, I, I, I have recorded songs for other persons. Mm -hmm. But this one is, is for me, um, in relaunching really myself, yeah. All right, it's called I Want You. If you're just joining us, welcome, welcome. We are speaking with Shari, Shari Hills from Kingston, Jamaica right now. And she's speaking to us um, about her journey in the music arena. And she she does a little of everything. A little TV, <laughs> a little radio, a little modeling, everything. Shari does recording artist, songwriter. She does a little of everything. This song, you says, you have a music video for it. It's called I Want You, and you hold it there. So I just want to play it again. I did play it um, starting the show, but I just want to, because of the, the, the sentiments that's attached to this song for you. This is a great song. <laughs> yes, you definitely yes. have the listeners right here on Reggae Storm to hear it one more time. I Want You, Shari. <laughs> the name of this song by Shari. Shari says she also has a music video for this song. You know, what a perfect song for Valentine's Day, Shari. I get to understand it was actually released on Valentine's Day. Was this purposely done? Because this fits the okay, that occasion so, so great, Shari. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, while I'm working on this song, you know, um, oh boy, I did everything to make sure that the video was ready um, for Valentine's Day. It, it, and um, we think that the day she has come, you know, has been passing the Christians. But the song is relatable, and I'm glad for that. So yes, um, it's a nice song to, to win someone's art if you really, if you had a chance before, and that um, didn't work out, you know, you don't have a chance. <laughs> Your phone is kind of going in and out, a, a little um, shy. Well, no, I was saying it's a song that um, if, if it's relatable. So there are people who would have gotten a chance before and would like another chance. So um, what better song to use? Absolutely. To give somebody give somebody a chance. Definitely. Yes. Sorry, what inspires you to write your songs now? Oh, I write just about um, on any given thing, any given topic. Um, but... Um, I, I love writing love songs, yes, I I do. And um when whenever I'm writing, I just allow the creative juices, you know, to flow. I'm looking forward to my first official gospel song, um, to be released really shortly. Wow. And um I I know a lot of people will be thinking as well. But you know, writing for me is really nice. Um it helps me as I go along the Wonderful, Shari. Oh, yeah, have a song um, with Blacker. It's called 
forget me. And I want to, to, to play play this song. And now I know that you, you work on the television um, station and that's the same television um, network with, with Black Earth, correct? Yes, I work with Black Earth Top 20. And uh, I've been around um, doing the show for a while. A lot of people, um, you know, have suggested that, you know, we should do a song together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were waiting, waiting, deliberating, and they like, I felt like, yes, that was the song. Mm -hmm. And, um, yes, we just went in the studio and had it done. And you did it. All right, so we're going to hear mm -hmm. this part of it. It's called Forget Me, Blacker and Shy. <laughs> Featuring Shari. If you're just joining us, we're talking to Shari right here on Reggae Storm Radio. Yeah. No one can me. I say, pull up. Love it, love it, love it. The name of this one if you're just joining us welcome to reggae storm radio welcome to kambusta several figures fan page we are talking to to shari shari this song you know there was a was the, when was the song released shari? um could you repeat this yeah when was this song released oh last summer yeah last august okay because there, there was one one time in Jamaica, it still happens, but there was just this huge rampant of, you know, domestic violence where a lot of women, you know, they were getting killed by, you know, partners. So you, when you mentioned that you, you can't trust them and, and things like that, how did you come up with a theme to sing um, this particular song with Blacker? Well, the, the idea was... Um Blacker's idea, um, as you rightly mentioned, um, you know, a lot of women were women were being killed at the time and stuff, and he said that he just called me one day and said, Shari, I'm find this out. I have a song for me, I was saying, well, I'm going to mash up the place, you know, but I'm going to go on, and I said, okay, all right, I'm going to go And at that time, I didn't even think him of all the words. He was just like, please, 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 please. And I said, okay, then. And then we just meet up, yeah. went to the studios, and um, we have to say, big up. Um, to, to, to Visions group, you know, they, we went to the studio and they made the rhythm right away and, um, you know, we were able to record the song. So, yeah, I'm grateful for the support. Yes, absolutely. Great song. And, uh, you know, Black is a man is always, you know, on the ladies' side and standing up for us. So, definitely, that is a great song and great collaboration. And uh, I'm sure the reception for that song has been amazing, Shari. 
Yes, Seven Gates Production um, produces the song, um, which, which is edited by um, a female as well. So she was really excited about uh, the song and the message. Um, I'm a little bit of a controversy because a lot of people, people like, you know, Jenny Jenny and stuff are saying that um, the song can, you know, be assessed differently and analyzed. But um, in everything that we do, um, there is a reaction, yeah. and and that's what music is about. Um, you know, how you process it. Right. It is maybe different from someone, but one thing remain one thing remain constant is that there is a trust issue, especially when it comes to um, domestic violence and all of that exactly. crime against women. Uh, exactly, Shari, and that is something that you know we can't overlook. It is obvious, and there is definitely a problem when it comes down to that. So. Thanks for presenting for, for the ladies on, on that one. Now, Shara, where do you find yourself more comfortable? Because you, you're on the TV, you're, you're on the radio, you're, you're in the recording studio, you you do so much. Where do you where, where would you say you're, you're most comfortable? This is my comfort zone now. Um, I think I'm just comfortable with everything music. I love music and when I started doing interviews on television and um, then I branch out in, in radio as well, and um, I realized that, yes, I love being on the stage. I also work as MC as well. So I realized that everything entertainment for me, you know, is like there's an adrenaline rush. So I, I just love it all. And um, it, it just goes to show, you know, you're never too old. And um, I would encourage anyone to say whatever is it that you love to do, do it. And oftentimes, you know, it's not necessarily about money. It's the satisfaction derived from just doing the things that um, you love. Yeah, yes. Wonderful, sorry. Because I've seen you, you know, on set doing um, MC work. And the way you come on stage and, you know, you, you, you bring out whoever is, you're, you're calling out on stage and the crowd reaction and everything, the engagement, so you, 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 you engage with the crowd, that shows that you actually, you love, you love that. So when you say that, you know, it's everything that you do across the board that you really enjoy, I can say definitely. And we work together also on, on Silk Radio. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. That too is also a joy. You know, we work together on um, Silk Radio, and that, that tone of itself a, is a platform that has created an entire new audience. You know, we're all over the UK and around the world um, with our partner stations and doing what we do week after week. You're still here on Registrar as well. Um, you know, extending your wings. It, it's a joy, and I can see um, that you would share, share my opinion. To do what you love, I see you all the time when you just smile, you know. <laughs> so I know you understand. Definitely, definitely, it's sorry, and it is definitely, you know, a pleasure working with you. And let me just play one more of your songs, also, Shari. If you're just joining us, blessings, Philip Crucial, big up yourself, Quad Johnson. Troy and Ruli King, blessings every time. Uh, we are talking to Shari right now, straight out of Jamaica at the moment. And we're, we're hearing our, her story, listening to some of her songs, and, you know, getting encouragement at the moment. Because Shari is saying, it doesn't matter how old you are. It does not. But don't let anything stop you from achieving your goals. Because, Shari, there's a lot of people who, you know, they don't get to, to do certain things at a certain age or a certain time. And, you know, they, mm -hmm. they, they, they forget about it or they don't. So, I can't bother you. I can't be an artist in my 30 or whatever the case may be. And so, you're giving mm -hmm. that particular advice and letting them understand it does not matter. You can still do it. That is very, very important. As a lot of people, you know, they listen to us, Shari, whether on the TV or on the radio, for inspiration. A lot of people may not come yes. and say it, but you know, Shari, that listening to us sometimes, you know, the, a lot of people come for inspiration so it's if it, this is a good look and putting that out there is definitely great yes let us go ahead and play one more of shari's song welcome welcome see dance is so true of course shari did speak the truth just now all right <laughs> Go. 
people talking about the trap music and all the music has been evolving. But we're also seeing that even though Jamaica is considered the owners of dance or reggae, we are seeing other nations doing well in reggae, mm-hmm. you know, on the billboard with the Grammy recently. Yes. So a lot has been happening. But as it relates to um, the female aspect of things, you know, a lot of female has been coming to the fore. It's, um, you know, social media has changed that a little bit now. So, you know, you don't necessarily have to depend on radio like before. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you can get a breakthrough via, you know, viral internet, TikTok, and the whole work. So, that part of it is, it is good. But um, where the authenticity is concerned, mm-hmm. um, for the music, we're losing that. You know, we're not getting the same feel from it. Right. You know, it's like, we didn't like, come and then die within a week or two, that kind of a thing. And the type of song, you know, the, the, the message. Right. We're not seeing a lot of creativity, mm-hmm. you know, like before. You know, people can say a lot of things in different ways, you know. But um, the, the, the music, you know, it, it has changed. It has definitely changed. And what about, um, you know, the, the, the female supporting? What do you have to say about that? Female supporting females in this industry? Because you have a lot of, you know... Artists, female artists who you know they, they, they don't speak to each other. It's like 
Her entire, I, I don't even know how to describe what is happening. Because <laughs> what, what I would like to see, I would like to see some of those top females come together, probably do a collab. I think that would, you know, be the big breakthrough for, for the betterment it's, of um, dance or music. But that is not what I'm seeing happening right now. This female artist, you know, don't talk to that one and there. It's like mm -hmm. a whole beef and it, it turns the fans against each other. Sharon, we don't understand that, you know, music affects the mind, you understand, and there's a lot of youngsters sure. out there who, they're listening to the lyrics, and they're doing what it is saying. Oh, true, true. That part. Well, where the females are concerned, I think it's the nature of dance hall. It is so competitive, mm -hmm. and um, a lot of people will tell you that, uh, you know, they have endured so much. Mm -hmm. So, you know, not many are even willing to say, take a young a young artist under their wings, mm -hmm. you know, and guide them along the way. They're going to say, look here, you have to go, you have to do it for yourself. Make it do it for myself. So there is that selfishness. Mm -hmm. And um, as we go along, we hope that walls, you know, can be break down and um, people can realize that we're stronger together, you know, um, as a team, empowering each other. And, um, you know, we can't just say it is that, then, you know, people have to come together. And not just at the top, mm -hmm. because um, younger artists that, 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 you know, who are just breaking out can, can get together, look out for each other as well. Mm -hmm. So that when that break finally comes, but it's just a selfishness, and I think... You know, we see where fame is concerned. You know, everybody wants to be famous and, you know, everybody wants all the glory. Yeah. And it's obviously, it's over in the, the male side as well. <laughs> we have seen it, you know. And Salarina is just competitive and is like, you know, the fittest of the fittest survive. And we're hoping that can change, you know, soon. Absolutely. And I'm so glad you, you, you mentioned it, you know, the, the, because a lot of artists, they, they definitely, you know, they, they've struggled. They, they, they did it, as a lot of them would say, they did it by themselves. They had to stay up, they had to stay up in the dance and ask selectors to, to play their songs. They did it so now that they're on top, it's not, they're not going to just, you know, give you their hand like that and pull you up just like that. They want you also to work for it. But Charlie, it's the way they go about doing it. You understand? Sure. You don't want nobody at all for it. And the cake is there for everybody to, to get a piece of it. And that is what we're, we're, we're trying to, you know, to tell everybody that it, it, the cake is here. You understand? Just try to get mm -hmm. your slice. Mm -hmm. And if you can help somebody to, to get a piece of it, why not? Working together, as you just say, it is better when you do it t together. Because of this whole yes. fighting against each other and turning the fans against, you know, each other. That is where the problem lies, Shari. So, you know, I'm glad yes. you're putting, you're putting yeah. out this this type of type of music and you know you're reaching out um whether on tv on on the radio with with your peers at your job whatever you do but you try to do um positivity and that is definitely what we we want in the society because we can't take anything else any any negativity anymore that that is has to so be the, the door shy <laughs> is there any other encouragement that you would like to give you know somebody out there who they don't even know what to, what to do or where to start right now. Give some encouragement because we have so many people listening right now on Registrum Radio. So we, we want to know what would be the first step, you know, coming into an industry like this, which a lot of people tell me an interview. This is a dog, dog industry can boost. Industry, We don't want to scare away anybody because we want people to try, right? Because you don't know if you'll be successful unless you try, right? So... Uh I would say, I would say to anybody listening, um, first you believe in God and um, believe in yourself and your talent. Yes. And um, there are different avenues to doing or to accomplishing um, that end result. So um, somebody may start university and they drop out and they pick up again another person may go straight. It's, it's just for any, any aspect of our lives. Mm -hmm. So in music, you have to believe in yourself. Yes. So if someone had told me, you know, maybe eight or ten years ago, and I said, go on television, I do some type of talking, or, you know, doing MC, and, um, being on radio, expressing myself, um, like I have been doing the public with signal, that, that's not me. But it is a thing. But um, I have reached out to people just to say, you know, I have an opportunity to, to, to say different platforms and so many things just from doing 
the music of what I thought. So you believe in yourself, you have to have confidence in whatever it is that you are presenting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically, if you're a dressmaker and you make a dress, mm -hmm. be confident in that dress where you make, do it to the best of your ability. Yes. You know, um, whatever it is that you're doing, just do it. You know, you know, get, and you don't have to reach, you don't have to be big. A lot of times, you know, somebody asks and they say, mm -hmm. she, what's she bigger? She, you don't have to be big. To do what you love, you can start small. You can start with on a radio station. You can, you can, um, for the same reason. You're kind of um, you want to do it. You can start in a smaller scale. You go to a little store right here, so you get another show over there. One more cocoa for basket. So if you're doing again, if you're passionate about what you do, you really love it. Then nothing is wrong. Is wrong with taking baby steps. A lot of times people just want to be big. So you talk to somebody and they say, "Well, you love music. If you go to the studio, go. Don't be afraid to do a song by yourself." And people who are walking and they're waiting and they're trying to get a big artist to do a song, but if you really love it, start doing something by yourself. Maybe later on, somebody will hear you want to do a collab with you. Right. Some people just thinking about the break and to get the break they do the song with somebody. Big. Just yesterday I was saying to somebody. You can do a, somebody do a song with a big name artist and you know it. Right, that's true. That's not guaranteed that it is going to hit because the person is over here. So I'm saying if you need a lot of it, you don't have any material, but you can just do a lot. Right. You have to start there. I can see somebody who's like, what? She says she's 20. Mm -hmm. But she wants a connection. You must make a connection with a big artist to get her there. And I'm saying, start. Believe in what you do. No. Right. Believe in yourself enough. To get a song out there with you alone, sometimes somebody just wants to hear what you sound like. Sure. Maybe it's just looking where you're at the mountain. But in order to get up there, you have to start climbing. Yes. So, you know, I would encourage anybody, believe in yourself, you know. And now there are people too who don't want to invest in yourself. And if you don't want to pay for your little student time for recording, you're waiting for a producer to pay for that for you. So you don't believe in your own material enough that you would spend your other money to produce your own song. You don't have to start thinking like that. Right. But you can do that for yourself and tell somebody that you believe in what you're doing. So you're investing in yourself. Somebody else might be interested to invest in you later on as well. You know, so uh, that's what I would, I would say to just about uh, anybody. Absolutely. Great Absolutely. Great encouragement, Shari. You have to believe in yourself. You have to be able to invest in yourself. And you have to start from somewhere. Some people want to start big. That is so true, Shari. Definitely. I like that. I definitely like that um, encouragement. All right, Shari. So you can go ahead and give out your social media handles. And also tell us what's, what's next for Shari. I know you mentioned something about gospel. So you can just tell us about that for those who just, just joined yes. us. And give out your social media. Well, I have, I have um, some new materials mm -hmm. um, coming. I spoke about a gospel song. Um, that for me, I have not recorded um, a gospel song. So um, this is my first story. And I'm um, definitely looking forward to it and to get a lot of people's reaction. Yes. And um, for this weekend, we'll be recording in Portmore. A um, lot of special guest artists as well in the show. So you can look forward to, um, to the show right from the Caribbean. Um, where, you know, the Caribbean is concerned, you know, every week. You're ever low, you know, sorry. I'm not hearing you. <laughs> so you can get an energy to say, Charlie, I'm, sorry, I'm not hearing you. you. I'm not hearing you. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Um, yes, I was just saying, um, this weekend, mm -hmm. I am definitely looking forward uh, to doing television production recording over in Fort Worth, yes. and that is definitely for flow television right across uh, the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And um, with respect to what um, you said earlier about the gospel song, yes, I have, this is my first gospel song coming out shortly. It should be ready in another two to three weeks, yes. mixed and packaged and ready for the room. And um, I am working, looking forward to being more in the studios as well. So that's coming for me. And um, I can't leave without, you know, extending my, my gratitude to all the people who have stood by me, whether it's television, radio, being in the studio, or just a kind word to say, girl, keep doing what you're doing, I listen to you, and uh, I like you, um, social media, wherever. 
I am grateful. Um, you can't do the news, you can't do it alone. And so there are people behind the scenes who even on your lowest day, they are there to say, girl, keep going, you know. Virgo, man, the you guys on the radio, you know, everybody. You know, all the people who encourage me and just want to say, you know, I am grateful. My son, who is my number one fan, you know, I couldn't do it without you. So thanks to everybody. Everybody who said, yeah, all the people who say, sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, I said, oh, no. It's just fair love. Keep following me on Instagram. It's at Shari Music, J A S H A R I M U S I C J A. Or for Facebook, Shari. You can't miss me. Can't miss you. Right. Thanks again, Pam Brewster. Yeah, it's a pleasure. Pleasure indeed, Shari. You keep up the good work. It's a pleasure working with you. And definitely send all your new materials and everything you have right over here so I can blast it on this side. All right? All right. Thanks a million. All the best. All the best. Thank you so much, Shari. Good night. Okay. Good night. Bless you. There you have it. Shari, talented, beautiful, whether it's on the TV, on the radio, in the recording studio, on stage, wherever it is, Shari, great interview, what a shout out to everyone who was locked into Reggae Star on the radio tonight, everybody who was locked in on Facebook, Kambusta, Seven Figures Face. Thank you so much for staying with us. Beautiful song, I Want You by Shari. Make sure you support the artists, support the music available on all major platforms, all right? For the artists. Blessings, everyone. It was a great show, a great night. Thank you for making it Reggae Storm. Thank you for making it Kambusta Interview Tuesday. Good night. See you next week, right here on Reggae Storm Radio. Yeah.
DJ Kambu stays on. Glad you enjoyed it. <laughs>